Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading for you today, tuning into the day's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my book online page. All right, let's get to your reading. The overall energy of this reading is the emperor in reverse. This is a bad boss, bad leader. Oh, I'm really tuning into the collective. It feels like it's a, a bad time to be a bad leader. Um, oh, yeah. It feels like people are seeing... Um, it feels this this has a, a punishing energy about it. This is a type of leadership where um, they use fear and control, punishment, coercion. This is about uh, empowering, powering, taking power, and disempowering uh, the people that who they lead not empowering everybody wow okay things are very unstable there's a, a an unease that's going on here wow the empress in reverse emperor in reverse and the empress in reverse this this feels like a mother wound. I'm, boy, this is, uh, this feels like as a collective, we are looking at these wounds, looking at bad leaders. It, it's not that we're looking, it's, it feels like it's getting our attention in this energy. You can't help but see this. It feels like there's this um, discontent with leaders who rule in this type of way, who use uh, injustice, lies, manipulation. It feels like as a collective, we're seeing this very clearly so it's coming up in the collective. It feels like we're, you can't help but see this bad leadership and make choices, make decisions as a collective, as an individual, as a soul, and as a collective. It feels like um, we're shifting as, or there's a potential in the collective to shift to a different style of leadership. This feels like um, whatever is happening that the collective is seeing en masse about this, it, it's creating a lot of overwhelm, a lot of broken hearts, uh, heartache, um, Ooh, a lot of emotions are coming up around around whatever this is. Wow. All right. This it it does it feels like I'm tuning into world leader type of energies. It could also be uh, people who are public bosses, uh, not necessarily like leaders of a country, but also um, businesses, a lot of businesses lead. <laughs> if we look at things in a capitalist society, the leaders are the business men and women. Um, there's, there's something here. I am not able to get any closer, but it feels It feels heartbreaking, honestly, to 
see whatever this is and it, it feels like yeah it feels like I'm not getting any closer sorry I'm trying to get closer maybe as we move on we'll get a little more information all right so the hidden blessings is the seven of cups in reverse a lack of options is a blessing why is a, a lack of options right now a blessing what's the hidden blessing here i get the feeling that there's a path that you're on oh wow oh, okay the path that you are on it feels like it's a, a there aren't a lot of choices because the path that you are on is a path so you can see it, it feels like there's a, um, a separation energetically like you can see what's going on in the world but you're protected by it because uh, you are you don't have a lot of options going this way, going that way. It feels like you're on a, a specific path. And, okay, got it. Timeline. You're on a specific timeline. And it's separate, but somehow you can still see what's going on, but you're not really interacting with the timeline of this bad bosses. We have the, the emperor in reverse again showing up and this time with the five of swords in reverse so the hidden blessing is that even though you are able to perceive what's happening it looks like you are in a different timeline than um, where this bad boss bad leader type of energy is so I feel like you are blessed you are safe but you are seeing, it's like, um, yeah, I'm now I'm seeing a lot of uh, the fall of dictators. Um, boy, sometimes when a dictator falls and the people, and the dictator falls into the hands of the people that they were leading, uh, it does not turn out. A, a happy ending for the um, bad leader. Boy, I'm I'm seeing Mussolini's and I'm seeing um, uh, yeah. I'm I'm just gonna leave it there. It it looks like um, the hidden blessing here. This is such an interesting reading. It's usually more personal this feels very much in the collective it must be affecting all of us um, I'm gonna keep going if the hidden blessing is that you are protected that you are uh, able to see and witness what's happening but somehow you are on a different timeline than what's happening but you can still see it happening. So very interesting messages. What you're leaving behind is the four of pentacles in reverse. It looks like you're leaving behind instability, financial difficulty. Again, there's a larger message here. What, what we're leaving behind is pay to play poverty mindset lack mindset capitalism late stage capitalism and the insecurities that go with this the not enough and also that not enough for everyone that scarce mentality we live on an abundant planet in an abundant world and that anyone is hungry or homeless or doesn't have medical care is ridiculous. 
So it looks like what we're leaving behind is this, um, ooh, not only instability, but this producing mentality. Like if you're not producing something, if you're not making bank, then, there, then you're not successful. There's something here about centering money and power that um, we're leaving behind. All right, how to get the most of this energy is temperance in reverse. That's impatience. I'm getting that things have to get so far out of balance for the collective to notice, to get enough of uh, conscious beings to see what's happening so we can have an opportunity to make a different choice. So I'm getting that the imbalance is happening purposefully. It's, wow, it's happening for us. This is loving. I'm getting this message here, how to get the most of this very uh, out of balance energy is to keep filling your own cup, keep loving yourself, keep acknowledging uh, peace. It feels like keeping the peace here. When the peace is not <laughs> peaceful out here <laughs> in your world, can you find that peace within? Can you find that's what happening. It, it looks like we are making a choice between um, structures like government structures, societies that do not care, are not caring for their people. If you, if we have homeless and uh, people without health care, people without food, without shelter, base needs, then are we really governing? I think personally, I'm, I perceive my desire for the world that I would like to live in is that everyone's base needs are taken care of. Imagine what if people were stable and secure and they weren't afraid of losing losing out so they don't have uh, food, shelter, health care, the basic needs, if those are met, then we can fulfill our lower chakra, stability, security, and start coming up into our higher chakras much more evolution and change if you've got the foundation of stability. It is my hope that everyone in the world can um, have stability. It feels like there's a lot of uh, blame that's going around. And it feels like if you're on a team, if you're a fan of a leader, then that's the, the wrong, uh, not wrong, it doesn't feel like it's a good fit. If you're a fan of someone, if you're uh, there's something here about uh, black and white, left and right, right or wrong, up and down, that uh, it feels like this energy, what's happening, how to make the most of it is not creating more division, but coming together. So, all right, how, what's supporting you in this energy? Interesting, Five of Swords is supporting you in this energy.
I get the feeling with the Five of Swords that there's this person that's just saying a lot and it's giving this person a headache. It's a lot of uh, negative communication, a lot of fighting. And it feels like I, I'm walking away from uh, the fight. I'm walking away from, it feels verbal. I think walking away from um, discussions with people, it feels like um, arguing, even though both sides have already are entrenched and have made up their mind to not waste your time trying to convince someone to come to your side. Um, wow. That's it. Uh, there's something here about what's supporting you around communication at this time. And it looks like if you are focusing on the negative and this person's bad and blah, 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 then, then that's not very helpful. What would be helpful is what do you want to create? As, okay, this feels inevitable somewhat that structures like governments uh, that have um, grown past their functionality for society are falling apart, late stage capitalism. And as structures start to fall apart, there are there's an opportunity for new growth, for a new way of showing up that is much more loving for all instead of uh, kind of this hierarchy that we've been in creating something more like a circle and uh, putting, I don't know, children in the center. If we centered our world around children, then our society would be safe for children. We would um, put, that would be our focus, not finances, not power in the center of our existence, but children, the next generation. Not that everybody has to have kids or anything like that, but a society that is in agreement that the children, Whitney Houston, the children are our future. <laughs> if I look at other um, plants, animals, they all run their energy and support of the next generation. That's where their energy goes. And so it feels very natural to support what's coming next and to create an environment that is um, loving and caring for all, not just a few, not just the people at the top and, their, and the power struggle to keep the people at the bottom, which is the most, the largest amount, um, keeping them disempowered. This feels so political. This feels so different than my usual messages. All right, let's just keep it going. The, what to be mindful of is the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the um, lack. Lack mentality, not having enough on mass, people not having enough. I'm getting um, a prayer and uh, kind of an imagery here as sending hope, sending love to all those in lack, imagining all those who are suffering right now in the world, imagining 
those who are hungry receiving food and water, those who are homeless receiving shelter. Imagine those who are suffering and isolated to be taken care of in our society. Imagining that everyone who needs health care can receive it. They don't have to choose to pay bills or go to the doctor. Everybody who needs to go to the doctor would go to the doctor. I'm also perceiving with the food that it's healthy food and that um, clean water for all. It feels um, beautiful to sit in that energy. It helps me relax imagining and hoping. I'm also perceiving another message here that if you feel if you feel um, a need to help, a, a need to build something uh, where there are not structures, this is a, a wonderful time to be yourself, to lead yourself, and to be of service to others. Wow. Well, this is a very different message than my usual messages, but it is what it is. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.